Alright ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the More Fox Gaming YouTube channel. I'm your host Hayden Fox back here today with the Premier League predictions. Now we filled out this table that you see on your screen right now and I also want to thank Josh Morrell for the original design and White Gaming for the... Um, like helping me put the teams in place. So let's not waste any time and get straight into it. So in 20th place, we have new people in the Premier League, Fulham. Now, we think that Fulham are going to get back relegated to the Championship this season. I just don't see a future for them. And yeah, I don't think they have a good enough solid team to outlast the Championship. People like Leeds, who have just got promoted, are way better than Fulham. You've got teams like... Like Arsenal, Liverpool, Chelsea, Tottenham, Everton, Leicester, Wolves could keep going. So yeah, I, I think Fulham don't have the team. I love Scott Parker. I think he's an excellent manager. And I also like don't mind the team, but I, I think it's not strong enough for the Premier League, um, which is why I've got them being relegated back to the Championship. So, in 19th place, we have West Ham. Now, um, with this team, we think we're, they're going to get relegated this year. Um, obviously, been in the Premier League for quite a while now, but they haven't had any new signings. David Moyes as a manager isn't the best way to go. Um, I love people like Sebastian Heller, Felipe Anderson... You know, they have a pretty solid team. I just think behind the scenes, we all know the team is a mess. And I think that's going to screw over the actual team this year. Um, so, yeah, in 19th, I have West Ham. And taking that last relegation spot is the other West. It's West Brom. Uh, recently, obviously, got promoted from the Championship once again. But West Brom are one of those teams that fluctuate between the two leagues. And I think it's going to be the same this season for them. Um, they haven't got a very strong side. Um, West Ham have a much, much stronger side than West Brom do. But I think behind the scenes for West Ham, it's a mess and that's going to screw over the team. Whereas West Brom, I just feel like don't have a strong enough squad for the Premier League. So in 18th place, we have West Brom. In 17th place, just avoiding relegation, we have Crystal Palace, which may come as a shock to many. Because in more or less every single prediction that I've seen, and that's why it's called wild predictions for the Premier League. Um, we've got Crystal Palace in 17th. I just feel like with the mess of West Ham behind the scenes and West Brom and Fulham not having strength in their squad and not really looking to improve that either, that Crystal Palace are just about going to avoid relegation but still going to be very low in the table. Obviously, Roy Hogson well-known but not the greatest manager in the world. Crystal Palace, again, have a couple of good players but not the greatest team in the world. But I do feel like they're going to stay in the Premier League for another year. So I have Crystal Palace in 17th. In 16th, we have Brighton and Hove Albion. Um, still going to be low in the table, but I do think they're going to pretty safely make it out of the relegation zone. Um, I think it's going to be a toss-up between the bottom four, but I do feel like Brighton will be 16th, low in the table still. But I feel that they're going to avoid relegation pretty easily. So yeah, Brighton in 16th. In 15th place, we have Sheffield United. Now, they did excellent last season, and it was Wolves the season before. Um, but I don't think they're going to do the same. They've got some excellent players, like Stevens, Fleck. Um, but, yeah, I don't think they're going to be a strong enough side to be in the top half of the table. But they're going to avoid relegation much easier than any of the teams previously mentioned. They're going to be... Low, like upper mid table ish, um, which is why I put them 15th. Um, but yeah, Sheffield United are a great side, I just don't think they're gonna pull off a miraculous, like, um, points wise, two years in a row. I think that team is going to be someone else, I'm not gonna spoil who, but yeah, um. 
I have Sheffield United in 15th. Getting to the fun part of the table now. We have in 14th place Southampton. Now, I don't know how Southampton do it. Because you think they're a weak side. But they always finish in the mid-table. And that's why we've purely put them there again this year. So 14th is Southampton. Taking the last spot in the bottom half of the table is Newcastle United. They have some very good plays, St. Maximum for one. And yeah, they're going to very, very safely be in the middle of the table. But I think they're just going to miss out on the top half of the table. I think they're going to be 13th. Excellent team, um, like Newcastle a lot. I think they have some incredible players with more players for potential to be great. Um, but I don't think this is a season where they're going to pull off a miraculous and finish in the like top six or anything. Um, I think this season for Newcastle will more be based on the future, kind of getting things ready for the future. This could be a test season for them. They know they have the talent to avoid relegation um, and they will easily, no doubt about it. But I think, yeah, this is going to be a test season almost for Newcastle. So, uh, yeah, I've got Newcastle in 13th. So, in 12th, we have Aston Villa. Now, we know they've got people like Jack Grealish, who's going to carry the team, there's no doubt. But they seem in a pretty good position behind the scenes as well. And, yeah, um, obviously, I don't think they're going to make it too far up the table. But I do think they're going to do okay. I think they're going to be mid-table thereabouts. And that's why I put them in 12th place. In 11th, we have Burnley. Now, Burnley finished 10th last season. I think they're going to drop a place, but finish more or less on the same amount of points. I feel like it could be a high scoring points this season. Um, and I think Burnley's going to finish 11th, one place lower than they did last season. They've still got some of their class players like Chris Wood. Um, and I think they've made a couple of new signings as well. Um, so that's going to strengthen their squad a lot. And yeah, um, I think Burnley will do more or less what they did last season. So uh, 11th place for Burnley. We've made it to the top 10, ladies and gentlemen. And in 10th place, we have Everton. Now, I feel like Everton have a pretty strong side. Um, and they usually finish between... 8th and 10th, and I feel like it's going to be one of the lower positions for them, which is why they're in 10th. We have a lot of strong sides still left. Arsenal, Chelsea, Tottenham, Liverpool, Man City, Man United, Leeds. There are so many stronger sides um, than Everton, but they will give any of these teams a run for their money on a good day. But I feel like some of the sides, especially teams like um, Man United, Chelsea, Liverpool, Man City stand out. I think that's where their points will cost because um, we all know the top teams won't, um, they won't hold back. So, yeah, I think that's where Everton's going to struggle and they're going to get a good upper mid-table finish, in my opinion. So, yeah, 10th is Everton. We're into single digits now. As in ninth place, we have Leicester City. Now, they have some absolute incredible talents like Vardy, Tielemans. You know, they are a very, very strong side, but there are just too many strong sides in the Premier League this year. It's going to be a very close top up toss up in like the top 10, I'd say. Um, any of the 10 teams could finish anywhere. So predicting this Premier League, it's one of the toughest Premier Leagues to predict, to be honest, in years. Um, but I do have Leicester City in ninth. They are a very, very strong side. Of course, won the Premier League. Um, back a couple of years ago and yeah they've dropped off a bit but they've still got some of their amazing talents and they always carry themselves into the single digit finishes um, but I do think it's going to be a lower single digit finish and I think Leicester City are going to finish ninth in the table this year. Just missing out on the Europa League spot this year is Wolverhampton Wanderers. Now they made it last year 
Um, and I think they're going to get a very, very good spot again. The front three are lethal in um, Jota, Jimenez, and it, they can toss it up between Traore. Um, yeah, they have a very, very good attack, and they score a lot of goals every season. The last two or three seasons, they have been in absolute fire. Um, scoring goals, and they they can literally beat any team on any day. Your Manchester Cities, your Liverpool's, they could beat them easily um, on a good day. But I feel like they're gonna perform well again this season. But I feel like they're just gonna miss out on the Europa League this year. So eighth, we have Wolverhampton Wanderers. In seventh place, we have Tottenham. Hotspur, of course, they've got Harry Kane, Sun, a lethal front to the, um, and some very, very good players elsewhere as well. But um, I think this might be Piazum because we hate Tottenham. But I know they're going to get a high finish. That's the thing. I know they are. So there's no doubt. They're going to finish high, which is why I've put them in seventh. I don't want to speak much more about Tottenham because I do not like them. Now, this decision is not mine. It is Fox Gaming members Michael. And he thinks Leeds United are going to finish sixth. So I put Leeds United in sixth, my beloved Leeds United in sixth. I said eighth because I just switched Wolves and Leeds around. But we are going with Leeds United in sixth place qualifying for the Europa League, which would be unbelievable on Leeds United's first season, but they've signed people like Rodrigo, they have signed people like Koch, who is a German international, Rodrigo, a Spanish international, of course. We have signed one of the best coaches in the entire world, Marcelo Bielsa, to a one-year deal. This is his third season in charge, and I'm sure he will be looking to sign even more in the future. He is a god for Leeds United and within the football world. And I think he is going to carry Leeds United far. I think we could potentially shock a lot of teams, including Liverpool, today on the opening day of the season. And I think we're going to shock teams like Manchester City. I'm not saying we're going to win, but I'm saying we're going to shock a lot of teams. They won't be expecting the BL suppress. They won't be expecting the way that we play football at Leeds United. And I think we are going to have a very, very, very strong showing. And I think Leeds United are going to qualify for the Europa League and finish in sixth place. In fifth place, we have Arsenal. Now... I say this because the way that Mikel Arteta has come in, obviously their manager, and transformed Arsenal, especially in the second half of the Premier League season, has been insurmountable. Um, and I think they're definitely in the running to even be title contenders. But there's just too many good teams about this year. Um, but I do think they're going to finish in the top six. I do think they're going to finish about fifth, maybe even fourth and qualify for the Champions League, which will be big for them. Um, they've got Lacazette, they've got Aubameyang, of course. They're going to have a very good season, I feel. Um, but legit, like I said before, the top 10 could literally be switched around in any way and no one could complain, um, except for maybe people complaining about Leeds United. But as I said, it's wild predictions. But yeah, I feel like Arsenal are going to have a very good season this season. Um, they've got the talent to do it. They've now got the coach to do it, who knows them very, very well. Um, Arsenal are going to be on form, I feel. So, yeah, teams better watch out for Arsenal. But, yeah, we've had Arsenal in fifth. The first one to qualify for the Champions League, we have Manchester United. Now, I feel like they have a point to prove this season. I feel like they're going to come out all guns blazing. They've got Bruno Fernandes, Marcus Rashford. They have the talent to do it. Um... Solskjaer, I think, has finally figured out a way that Manchester United works and how the team works. Um, I think they're going to have a very, very solid season. I don't think they're going to win the title, but I think they're going to qualify for the Champions League, which is why we've put Manchester United in fourth place. 
Now, what might come as a shock to many, we have Manchester City in third place, not in second, not for the champions, in third place. Obviously got the team with people like Aguero, Gabriel Jesus, Kevin De Bruyne. They've obviously got one of the best managers in the world in Pep Guardiola. We know they are championship contenders. That is without a doubt. And that's why it's wild predictions. I feel like the other two teams, if you can figure out who's left, I feel like the other two teams are going to be just too strong this year. And for the first time since, I can't even remember when Manchester City weren't in the final two. Um, but I do feel like they're going to finish third you see, this year. It's going to be a very, very interesting season for the top four. And overall, just for the top 10, really. Everton, Wolves, Leeds could all finish high. We could get a couple of shocks. Newcastle might do better than we've predicted. You never know. A team like Arsenal or Tottenham may just fail this year. You literally don't know. And that is the fun of the Premier League. But I do think we have a pretty solid top five for sure. Leeds, I think, is going to shock us. But yeah, I do have Manchester City as that's the team that we're on. I do have Man City in third place. In second place, we have the current reigning Premier League champions Liverpool. I just feel like one more team are going to be a bit stronger than them this year with the signings. But Jurgen Klopp, a absolute living bloody legend. Um, the team that they've got with Firmino, Salah, Mane, Henderson, even Allison in goal. Um, they are one of the strongest sides in the entire world. And if they win the championship for the second season, I am not complaining. And I do love Liverpool. But I don't know. I just feel like the team above them are going to be stronger this year. Um, I'm going to come out all guns blazing. But Liverpool do have a point to prove. It was the first time in 30 years that they won the Premier League title. Um, was it just a one-hit wonder? Or are they truly one of the best sides in the world now? They have to prove that. So they might come out all guns blazing. But I do feel like they're going to finish in the top two at least. Um, but I do have them second this year. Which means new Premier League champions. You can feel the anticipation in the air. Who's going to be number one? But... Before we announce number one, we're just going to also mention the three teams that we think is going to be promoted to the Premier League for the 2021 and 2022 season. So first off, we have Watford, who started their campaign last night with a 1-0 win. Um, we've got Cardiff. I feel like Cardiff are going to do very well this year. Shock a lot of teams in the uh, championship. Um, Fulham was their bogey team and they're in the Premier League this year. And I feel like, yeah, they're going to do well. And we also have Bournemouth, who just recently dropped down to the championship, I think, with the couple of signings that they've made, which are going to make the team even stronger. Um, I do feel like Bournemouth are going to come back into the Premier League for the 2021-22 campaign. And last but not least, we have Chelsea winning the Premier League Championship this season in the 2020-2021 campaign. Now, the signings that they've made with the likes of Timo Werner, Kai Havertz, Chilwell, Silva, off-the-chain signings, especially Havertz and Werner, they are going to carry Chelsea so far. Werner's going to ban in 20, if not more. Havertz is going to control the midfield. They are two absolute world-class signings. And I think with the new way that Chelsea are going to play this season, it's going to be a very interesting season. And I think we're going to get new Premier League champions in Chelsea this year. Um, they're just looking too strong, even for the likes of Man City and Liverpool. Um, I think they're going to shock Liverpool, Man City, teams like that. And yeah, I feel like they're going to win the Premier League this season. So, so that is the official Fox Gaming Premier League wild predictions for 2020. We have Chelsea winning the championship, Liverpool, Manchester City, Man United in the top four. Then we've got Arsenal, Leeds United in sixth, which will come as a shock to many. Tottenham Hotspur, Wolves in eighth, Leicester in ninth, Everton in tenth, Burnley in 11th, Aston Villa in 12th, Newcastle United in 13th, 
Southampton in 14th, Sheffield United in 15th, Brighton in 16th, Crystal Palace in 17th, West Brom in 18th, West Ham in 19th, and Fulham in 20th, with Bournemouth, Cardiff, and Watford being promoted to the Premier League for the 2021-22 campaign. So, that is the end of our predictions. 20 minutes we've been going from the official Fox Gaming crew here on the More Fox Gaming YouTube channel. If you did like the predictions, then make sure to smash that like button. Some very wild picks in there, I know. But I think it's going to be a very interesting season with a few upsets incoming. Also, make sure to comment down below your predictions. Who do you think is going to be in the top four? Who do you think is going to get relegated? And who do you think is going to be champions? And make sure to subscribe to the channel for more football here on the More Thoughts Gaming YouTube channel. And until the next time, guys, we'll catch you all in the next one.